Hey guys, welcome back to another movie review. Okay, my apologies for not sounding as hyped or enthusiastic as in my other reviews, but I mean, I just gotta get this off my chest. So, I just recently watched Joker, Fully Ado, aka Joker 2, and oh man, I walked out of there baffled and puzzled. Like, I can't even comprehend on what just happened in the movie. And like usual, you guessed it, I'm not gonna mention any plot points, spoilers, or anything like that. I'm gonna give you my personal opinion. So let's get into this. Arthur Fleck institutionalized at Arkham awaiting trial for his crimes as Joker. While struggling with his dual identity, Arthur not only stumbles upon true love, but also finds the music that's always been inside him. Okay, let's go over the negatives first. All right, and yep, I'm gonna throw a curveball at y'all. Instead of going through the positives and negatives, I'm gonna do it vice versa for this case and go over the negatives. That and positives because I think I have a short laundry list of my problems with the movie. The pacing was slow. I mean, there were moments in here that add to nothing and go nowhere. Like they're literally just there to stretch out the runtime. And also there was no reason for it to become a musical. And yes, I have watched movies and TV shows that have singing in them, but at least the songs there were well executed and they didn't drive away from the plot. Although I did like one of the songs from there and that's the only thing that you're gonna get out of me. And the ending, I was like, what? Like, I sat there baffled and my mind just went blank. And I was like, so is this how it's gonna end? Like, I mean, as I mentioned before, I couldn't even comprehend on what just happened. And I wouldn't even be surprised if there is or isn't going to be a new Joker movie after this one. Okay, now that I've went over the negatives, it's time I go over the positives. Uh, first off, Joaquin Phoenix, he is back at it again as Joker. Like, it feels like he never left. And Lady Gaga gave her her all as Harley Quinn. At first, when this movie was uh, going to be made, they announced that Lady Gaga was going to play Harley Quinn and there were some mixed reactions like there are people who like the idea and some people who don't me like I said I'm kind of in the mixed spectrum I mean no offense to uh, Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn honestly that's my definitive Harley Quinn and trust me those are some big shoes to fill for this movie but like I said Lady Gaga gave her her all and also the cinematography was outstanding <sighs> At the end of the day, this was a massive disappointment from the first movie. Like, I feel like it's just a big middle finger to the first. And I bet in a couple years or so, people are going to look back at this movie and maybe they'll kind of realize how harsh they were on this movie. Maybe even me, but who knows? Time will tell. <sighs> so I give this a C plus. And... This is the part where I said I highly recommend for you guys to see this movie, but for this case, watch it at your own risk. Or maybe wait for it to go on DVD or digital. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, don't forget to hit me with a like and thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for all notifications, and comment down below to tell me what you think about this movie. Do you hate it? Do you actually like it? Or was it so-so? This is JJ Cinema, signing off.